what's going on? This is Legend of All About the Kicks. Subscribe to that channel. Um, we talk about Young Thug and Young Gutter. Um, Young Thug father did an interview and they asked him about Gunner. And he said, Gunner is cool, you know, it's good, no hard feelings. Um, I think what Young Thug was talking about the situation where he's talking about somebody snitching or that, I think he was talking about his brother, yo. Cause listen, young Gunner is bringing home some money for Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? The album is doing real good. I think it's gold right now. Um, singles don't like went number one. So he's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And he out here touring at the Barclay Center. So it's helping Young Thug out. Even if you think it or not, it's still helping him out. It's not like he dropped Gunner off the label. You know what I'm saying? That's his main artist putting out. You know what I'm saying? I'm slime. Um, and Gunner's, the, Gunner's the, the breadwinner right now. Him and Gunner's the only two that is making money for the label. So I'm not saying good money is good money, but he signed to him. So he's saying it ain't really hurting the case. So we'll see what happens with this young thug thing. Um, hope he can beat the trial, man. You know what I'm saying? The trial is so messy right now. It's so, I've never seen a trial this messy before in my life. And it seemed like they, they can't get it together. They can't get people here or there. So we'll see what happens, man. Um, free Young Thug and Gunner keep getting that money and keep promoting, doing your thing, man. Listen, if they said, if, if Young Thug said you ain't no snitch, y'all gotta leave on alone. You know what I'm saying? And keep it moving. Next topic, let's go. Jaden Smith, man, he looked crazy. Y'all see this picture, man? He looking weird, man. Like, Jaden, I don't know what the hell he been doing. Like, he, his music was okay. It wasn't better than his dad, but, you know. He was doing his thing. The movie thing he was doing, he stopped doing that. But he looking weird, man. Some some blogger caught him with a whole bunch of baddies. Like he had a few, like four or five girls in the car and shit. Was riding around the neighborhood and shit. Some some dumb shit. But he looked weird, man. Um, I don't know if he's bisexual or straight. You know? I don't know. Don't Will, don't, don't Smith. They, they weird, man. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith, my guy, but they all weird, man. Something about them, they all weird. But yeah, man, Jada, man, you need to get your shit together. I don't know, you want some dope or what? You look crazy out here in these streets. You look like a fiend. Smelling the dope. These fucking people, man, they be looking crazy, man. That money be fucking them up. Like, Jada got a lot of money, so he don't know what to do with it. <laughs> like, help the homeless, man. LA got a lot of homeless people, man. Get him some money. I'm saying, well, he just chilling with some whole bunch of pretty women. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's good to have a few baddies with you. You don't need no girl. You don't need no dudes with you. It's good to have a lot of women with you anyway, because they definitely will save your life. The dudes out here, they be trying to set you up. So, salute to Jada, man. Get yourself together, man. You're looking crazy. Oh man, let's stop it. Man, let's talk about Remy Ma, man. Remy Ma, I hope she didn't do what she did. You know what I'm saying? That's what the streets is talking right now. She did the interview. She looked uncomfortable. Um, the dude who she claimed that, you know, she cheated with, looked just like Papoose. Papoose smacked him up a couple months ago. And if it's true, man, I feel sorry for Papoose. But Papoose was there for her for that whole seven years. You didn't hear him smashing no other women. If he was, he did kept it on the low. He was there. And Papoose is a street dude, man. He's from he's from whatever he's from the Bronx. He don't play that, man. You know what I mean? That's a real dude. Ain't too many dudes out there like him. So Remy Ma, if you did that, man, you shiesty as hell. Um, allegedly, if you did it, you know the rumors are you did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what made you do it. I don't know if you know maybe Papoose did something you funked out. I don't know. You know maybe I, I was separated for a while. You did it. But you look real suspicious in that video, man. You should not did that video. You should never did that interview. You don't, you know what I mean? And you could tell Remy Ma got some surgery done. I'm um, allegedly got some surgery done to the body and everything else. But you know, she's looking good. You know what I mean? Remy Ma is not an ugly girl, but like, but Pat has been there for you, man. Y'all went through a lot of stuff to have the kid and all that, and to cheat on him, man. I he, I know. He, you know, there's a lot of situations going on right now in the music industry. You got a lot of people that's breaking up. Tiana Teller and him. 
they they separated you got a lot of people it's a lot of shit going on right now and i don't know what's going on man but this black love stuff might have to get canceled man because these motherfuckers out here they acting up for real i know tiana teller and him was basically separated you know what i mean it ain't none of our business like she said but it's like that's crazy because i call i thought that was black love you know what i mean they've been together for like 10 years so sometimes you in a in a relationship in a marriage sometimes you got to go your separate ways for like a little bit not saying you got to like leave or nothing like that but sometimes you just got to do you for a little bit and then come back if y'all love each other because sometimes you in a marriage it get boring you know it get boring and it's not entertainment and no more it's not fun that's why these marriages not lasting because people are not having fun and you know what i mean it's not f- like you got to do fun stuff man you only live once man i already had two dudes young as hell less than 40 years old died in the last two weeks man so live your life live your life to the fullest man next topic Jaden smith man he looking crazy y'all see this picture man he looking weird man like Jaden, i don't know what the hell he's been doing like he his music was okay it wasn't better than his dad but you know he was doing his thing the movie thing he was doing he stopped doing that but he looking weird man some some blogger called him with a whole bunch of baddies like he had a few like four or five girls in the car and shit they'd ride around the neighborhood and shit some some dumb shit but he looked weird man um, i don't know if he's bisexual or straight you know? i don't know don't will don't, don't smith they stay weird man you know what i'm saying will smith my guy but they all weird man you know what i'm saying something about them they all weird man but yeah man, jada man you need to get your shit together i don't know you want some dope or what you look crazy out here in these streets you look like a fiend smelling the dope these fucking people man they be looking crazy man that money be fucking them up <laughs> like jada got a lot of money so he don't know what to do with it <laughs> Like help the homeless man. LA got a lot of homeless people, man. Get him some money, man. You see what I'm saying? Well, he just chilling with some whole bunch of pretty women. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's good to have a few baddies with you. You don't need no girl, you don't need no dudes with you. It's good to have a lot of women with you anyway, because they definitely will save your life. These dudes out here, they be trying to set you up. So salute to Jada, man. Get yourself together, man. Looking crazy. Oh man, next topic. <laughs>